Good 530 tonight. The warm weather is upon us, and that means tick season has arrived. Last year, studies showed there were more ticks in Rhode Island than in previous years. And today, local leaders came together to highlight ways to protect you and your family. With the Green Team, Eyewitness News meteorologist TJ Del Santo has more now from the Mobile Newsroom. This is the time of year to prepare for the upcoming tick season. State officials gathered today at Goddard Park to kick off the Tick Smart Rhode Island campaign. On this poppy seed bagel is a poppy seed sized deer tick, which can be very dangerous. It's starting to be nice out. It's actually beautiful today, and um, the ticks are going to know that, and they're going to start to become active. Professor Tom Mather of URI said this is the time to prepare you, your family, your pets, and your yard for ticks. Out of the 19 years that we've done, 2012 was indeed the highest year. In fact, Mather said there was a 116% increase last year than the previous five years average. Because of the increase, Rhode Islanders are roughly three times more likely to contract Lyme disease uh, than the national incidence rate because of the level of ticks we have in Rhode Island. Kicking off a Tick Smart Rhode Island campaign, Senator Jack Reed is working with Mather to educate people about the dangers of tick bites and Lyme disease. Reed has secured over $1.3 million in federal funds to implement tick bite prevention programs, informing people about how to do tick checks, where to get tick repelling clothes, and how to get yard treatments. 21 days of antibiotics. Jean Shields' daughters were both infected with Lyme disease and are still in treatment. She says this Tick Smart Rhode Island program is very important. We have a heart safe community, uh, meaning for our CPR and our AED. But obviously now we have to put um, this campaign on the forefront. If you'd like more information on how to get Tick Smart, you can go to our website at WPRI.com. With the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.